Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Daphne. Um, you know what? No, I'm Ophelene. A lot of you may know me as Daphne. Daphne is my middle name. This is my son, Aiden. Say hi. Hi. So, um, my background is loud. I know. Um, that's my family. I live at home. <laughs> Stop. I live at home. Um, just waiting for a young man to come and sweep me off my feet and, you know, put a ring on it and move me out. That's what I'm waiting on. But anyway, I'm kidding. Um, no. Aiden, this channel is going to be about beauty. It's going to be about love. And this channel is also going to be about my life. You know, just pretty much everything. So please stay tuned for daily, not daily, weekly, maybe bi-weekly, I don't know. Um, however often I drop my videos, I will let you know. Like this first video is going to be a little mini tutorial of how I achieved this look for my intro video. Um, please follow me on all my platforms and you'll know when to tune in. Like, subscribe, of course, and catch you guys later. Alright, so here go the catfish. Boom! Yeah, I know y'all was probably expecting that, but hey, this is me. Here I am. I am she. Made in the favor of God. Alright, so let's start with these brows. And before we get to that, let's, you know, put some gloss on them lips because that was kind of ashy. All right, so I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows and then start drawing on some hair strokes. Yeah, going to make pretend and draw some hair strokes on there and do that to both brows, of course. But I skipped that. Um, after that, I'm going to use my concealer. Yeah, just going to bring that all the way down to the lid. All right. Now, once we're done doing that, of course, we're going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Now, we're going to do the top of the brows. Of course, with a lot of practice and a lot of steady handling, you'll get it right. I didn't get it right my first time. But you got to keep practicing. And eventually, it'll come together. Okay, so um, let's just do an eyebrow check. Yeah, that's, 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 that's some brows right there. Y'all see that? All right. So we're going to move on to our eyeshadows. So as you guys can see, I'm using the darkest shade in the Juvia's Place Do Say palette. Going to take that and pack that on to my lid. You know, I'm going to use that as my transition color. And then brush that all the way through. And do the same to the other lid. Now I'm going to use some eyebrow, not eyebrow, ugh, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use NYX eyeshadow primer. It's a glitter primer, but I'm going to use it as, you know, an eyeshadow primer because it works the same. It works both ways. And I'm going to take this color right here from the Warriors palette. It looks like it's almost done. I know. That's okay. We're going to still use it to the end. And I'm going to pack that on my lid as shown and do the same to the other eye. Now we're going to add this J. LaRue white gold pigment to the eye. It kind of looks like a glitter. It's not really, just gives you a little bit of a shimmer. I call it the tiny glitters. Gonna add a little bit of that tiny glitter on my eye where I added the lighter shade and then I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the other eye. And what I'm doing right now is smoking it out with the same exact color that I used in my transitioning. Now what I'm doing is for all the girls with curly eyelashes. When I say curly, I mean curly, like super curly eyelashes. I have curly eyelash syndrome. And this is what I have to do in order to get my eyelashes to um, come out straight in order to put my lashes on top of them so that they don't sit right on top. What I'm doing is using the eyelash curler upside down. And after that, ladies, this is very important. You have to use waterproof mascara. If you don't use waterproof mascara, guess what? It's 
gonna curl right back up. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just adding that mascara and distributing it evenly. Now I'm using my Super Flex Eyelash Glue to add some glue to my lashes and I'm gonna let that rest. Now for primer, I have super, super, super oily skin. And I've tried everything and I haven't been able to find a regular primer in any beauty store to kind of help with my oily skin. So what I'm using is Milk of Magnesium. That's what gets me looking nice and matte for most of the day, if not the entire day. What we're doing is blowing that so that it can dry. And now I'm using my foundation. As you can see, I have two foundations. I mixed the two because guess what? I ran out of my color. So guess what I did? I took a dark shade of NYX and I took a lot of shade in Maybelline and I am mixing that together. I am now applying it. I know it looks kind of dark, it looks crazy, it looks chalky, but that's because of the milk of magnesium. All we have to do is just keep brushing that in until it all fades into the skin like this. It looks all nice and smooth and even. Now we're gonna put our lashes on because our lashes are now tacky. Now onto our concealer. This is the same concealer that I use for my eyebrows. I'm just taking that and putting it under my eye, below my nose, on my nose, um, down the center, on my chin, on my forehead, and what I'm doing is just blending it all in in my T-zone. Now this next concealer, I do not remember the shade of it. All I know is that it's by Kat Von D and I had it a really long time ago and the letters faded off so I can't even give you the details. But know that it's a really dark concealer by Kat Von D that I'm using to contour. And what I'm doing is blending that in. Blending it all into my um, cheekbones. And next I'm going to use Sasha buttercup setting powder to set my t-zone and that's the only place that i put it in now i don't let it sit because for me it kind of leaves this very white chalky look so i just put it in and brush it right off now i'm gonna get my t-zone to kind of mimic the same color as my skin so what i'm doing is taking a darker color foundation powder by Kat Von D and I'm pressing that into the same area where I put my Sasha Buttercup and I'm just dabbing that in and then afterwards I'm going to use my favorite bronzer in the whole wide world to kind of add more definition, add more color and contour to my face. What I'm doing is adding that in between where I contoured and where I highlighted. And I'm also adding that to where I added the darker concealer too. Um, what I also did was use a way darker powder on the very outer edge of where I contoured. This powder, it's by Becca. It's definitely discontinued, but guess what? I do not use the same powder every time. You can use any dark powder that you have for contour for this part. Um, there's no rules to makeup, guys. I even sometimes use the darkest shade in the Warriors palette for contour, and that also works just fine. At one point, I found myself using black eyeshadow, and it turned out fine. So now I'm using the same bronzer to contour my nose. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to use the darkest shade in the Doucet palette. And that's what's going to help your illusion of a smaller nose pop even more. Okay, so now I'm adding some blush. I'm using blush by Black Radiance. You are free to use any blush you like. And now I'm using a regular dollar black eye pencil to darken my brows on the ends. You can use any 
black pencil you want, you can find it at any beauty supply store. I'm also using that to add my eyeliner to my waterline. And now I'm going to use some mascara, any mascara. It doesn't have to be waterproof for this one. That I'm going to use on my bottom lashes. And I'm gonna come back to them and add more, but that may be off camera, but I'm just gonna wait for them to dry because we need these eyelashes to pop, okay? Now I'm using a smaller tube of mascara that I have to brush my eyebrows up and add more of hair like strokes to them. And the powder that I just showed you is a powder that I'm going to use to set the bottom half of my face. I know my knuckles look kind of ashy right now, but let's pretend they got some lotion on them. Now what I'm about to do is use that same bronzer that I used on my cheekbones on my lower jaw. I mean, is there a lower jaw? No, there's, there's just a jaw. Whatever, yeah, I'm just adding that to my jaw just to kind of even out that color. Okay, next I'm going to highlight. This is my favorite part. I have two highlighters by Juvia's Place. Um, what I'm using is the Nubia shade and I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose. I'm also going to put that on my cheekbones. And I'm going to add that to my upper lip. Oh, and I forgot my forehead. I add some of that to my forehead too. Ooh, I am looking cute. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to lips. I'm using the same concealer that I use to contour. Yes, the same concealer. I found that using a dark brown concealer for your lip liner really helps with the ombre effect that a lot of people like to do. It just blends so much easier and seamlessly. I learned this method through Beats by Deb. I am forever grateful for this advice. Hopefully you guys will also find this to be very helpful. Now what I did was add my nude in the center and what I'm doing is just blending that all in until I get that perfect ombre that I've been looking for. And what I just added just then was that lip butter by NYX that I added in the beginning of the video, just to give it more of a glossy feel. I am now taking my hair down because guess what? A real girl is done. Okay, don't y'all just hate when powder gets in y'all titties? Anyways, back to me, wow. If y'all don't like this look, y'all ain't gonna like anything. Yes, live, work, pose. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, now I am going to introduce my lovely family to you guys. Not my whole family, but this is just a portion of my family. I just thought this would be a great way to end this video and catch y'all on the next scene. Y'all want to introduce ourselves? This is my store, Emil Whistler. You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Emil Maestro. That's right. Yes. That's why. I'm a cooking woman. You're a what, mommy? You're a cooking woman? Father? Huh? This is Mr. George. George. <laughs> Mr. George. He's eating. I know where. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? <laughs> hey, no. No. Say Mr. Food. Food is all that. Mr. Manger. Mr. Manger. Oh, wait.